okay yesterday we saw on uh, clipboard uh, group to today we are going to see uh, font group please put an heading font group the font group has the font group has Fifteen options. The font group has fifteen options. They are as follows. They are as follows. One font option. One font option. in brackets the shortcut control plus shift plus f control plus shift plus f control plus shift plus f okay next one is font size option control plus shift plus p is the shortcut in front of font option you can put pick a new font for your text it is to select a font whenever i am typing before actually entering the data also i can pick up what font and then start entering the data or after i complete my work also i can uh, pick up a font both the ways it is possible so what we will do <coughs> Uh, control plus shift plus p control plus shift plus p for font size in front of font size please write down change the size of your text change the font size of your text i can first enter whatever font i want whatever size i want and then i can start the typing that also can be done or after i have typed assuming i have ta ta types something after i have ta ta typed i can always select and then go back and change the font both the ways it is possible when we actually used a uh, notepad it did not allow us to change the font individually for each character or individually for each paragraph here i can select for every paragraph a different font for every character a different font for every line a different font and different color i can use any kind of options it's possible okay now next one third one increase font size third option increase font size shortcut key is in brackets control plus shift plus control plus shift plus greater than sign okay uh, you just put a dash and then write down this option makes your text a bit bigger this option makes your text a bit bigger okay go for the next decrease the font size next option which is fourth decrease the font size in brackets the shortcut control plus shift plus less than symbol put an iphone and then write this option makes your text a bit smaller this option makes your text a bit smaller all of you look at the monitor when i select a 
text whatever the selected text can be made a bit bigger or a bit smaller these options are used and increase it here change the font here anything can be done okay now i can do this for every paragraph i can do it for a group of words or a single word only one particular word or maybe only one particular character i want to increase the font size so it is up to you how do you want to use it it is up to you may may maybe in this in order to highlight so some of the quoted lines i am adding up the first character in a little bigger than the others so it will give a good output like five competitive market forces okay so this is to change the font there would be more than 1000 fonts available you can download the fonts online also and here is the size of the font for every font that you have selected here is increase a little bit in decrease a bit okay go, go to the next option fifth option change case change case change case option is used change case uh, there, there is no shortcut for this change case option is used to change the selected text to to change the selected text to following different forms to change the so selected text to for following different forms okay see when i pull my cursor down there are five options following five forms and the barkumudi one by one you start writing one sentence case okay you put an hyphen and then mention this capitalizes every word the this capitalizes every starting letter of the word after a full stop this capitalizes starting letter of a word after full stop uh, that is how the sentence cases after full stop whenever you enter a new text it has to be in the big letter next is lower case lower case second one the this option changes the entire selected case into lower case entire selected text into lower case this option changes the entire selected text to lower case next one upper case u p p e r c a s c you can write it in caps only or upper case all of you look at the monitor once see here uh, i am just selecting this entire sentence i can convert it into lower case all are in lower if i change it to sentence case at the start of after every full stop it is going to be capitalized or i say lower case everything becomes lower if i say upper case everything becomes capitals that means upper case if i say capitalize each word that means every word starting letter will be ca capitalized and the last option will be toggle case toggle means whichever was small becomes big whichever was a uh, big letter becomes a small letter upper case becomes lower case lower case becomes upper case okay the next option what you have written is upper case Th this option this option changes the entire selected case into upper case in brackets capitals 
or capital letters in brackets capital letters fourth option capitalize each word capitalize each word this option capitalizes each word means every every first letter of the word every first letter of the word will be changed to capitals every first letter of the word will be changed to capitals okay the last toggle case t o g g l e space c a s e this option changes the case of the entire selected text of the entire selected text lower case to upper case upper case to lower case lower case to upper case and upper case to lower case artha aitu ankontini whatever is a selected text if everything was lower it will automatically convert it into upper if few of the letters were upper that will be converted to lower if you add some text which was lower that will be converted into upper case that that's how it works okay next is clear all for formatting the next option is in font exercise sorry in font group 1 2 3 4 5 sixth option is clear all formatting this option removes all formatting this option removes all formatting from the selection and keeps only as and keeps only normal unformatted text and keeps only normal unformatted text and keeps only normal unformatted text all of you look at the screen now i select all this and i say no formatting it just keeps it as a simple text okay so th th this is called as uh clearing all for formatting now in few of this i had made it as bold few of this i had made it as italic few of this i had made it as underline uh, few of this i had made it as a subscript so lot of things i would have done few of this i would have made it as superscript okay but after i do all this and uh, for few i had changed the font size to this for few others i had changed the font size to something else uh, whatever you do when i select all this and say clear all formatting every formatting will be removed capitals and small e won't change formatting will be removed it will keep it as a simple plain text okay now we come to the next option 7 bold option b o l d bold option Sh shortcut is in brackets control plus b
see whatever is just a selected text i can make him bold second time when i press bold it will actually remove first time when i press bold it will add this is what i call it as a toggle mode bold and bold bold and bold okay next italic makes your text bold uh, for, for this you have written uh, makes your text bold for bold you put an iphone and then write makes makes your text bold next one is italic eight is italic it 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 ital sorry it italicizes your text the shortcut is control plus i for first write down the shortcut control plus i and then write down this option italicizes your text means it changes your text to italics what is the spelling italicize i t a l i c i z e s it italicizes your text i t a l i c i z e it italicizes your text okay next option underline shortcut control plus u control plus u this option underlines your text this option underlines your text full stop this option as the following different types of underlines this option as the following different types of underlines full stop and then everybody look at the monitor see anything i want i can select i can make him underline anything i want i can select change the case to lower case or change the case to upper case anything that i select can be made bold can be made italic can be made underline okay anything i select can be changed the font could be changed anything i select could be increased a bit the font size you could decrease a bit the font size like this whatever has been selected you can keep on working on various options now when i come to underline when i say for any selected text i can just click this and underline it but in underline there are multiple options which gets enabled once i click here what you have written the underline this options are the following different types of underlines or uh, you write down one normal underline normal underline two double underline two double underline three thick and underline thick underline four dotted d o t t e d dotted underline all of you look at the monitor once see here is normal underline so it is just called as underline second one is double underline third one is thick underline fourth one is dotted underline now whatever i have selected for that okay i can keep changing this underlines normal the, the double underline all have become the double underline now next i can go for thick underline all have become thick underline next i have gone for dotted underline look how the dotted underline looks like okay the next would be dashed underline d a s h e d 
dashed underline one two three four five fifth one is dashed underline next sixth one is dot dash sorry dot iphone dash underline because it is a combination of dot and dash dot put an iphone and say dash underline the next one is dot iphone one more dot iphone dash underline one is capital dot dot then dash underline dot dot two times dash once time early and was one dot one dash one dot one dash all of you look here illa egide andre one dot adadmele one dash one dot one dash illi you will have dot dot eret sati amele dash dash one sati okay illi when i go and observe it very okay how is it dot dot dash dot dot dash okay now i'll go to the last one wave underline it is like creating a wave wave underline i don't want any underline there is an option none the next one the last one is none 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 the ninth one is none okay now uh, th there is an option full stop next line please write down th there is an additional option more underlines and underline color and underline color there is an option more underline and underline color for first heading you please mention more underline the more underline the more underline opens up an additional window opens up an additional window window and allows you to and allows you to select underline style underline style and underline color allows you to select underline style and underline color after finishing please uh, look at the monitor now assuming uh, that this was a, a selected text i go to underline here is an option of more underline here i'll not go, go to this place but let us understand i can change the font here also change whatever font you want change the property of the font whether i want it regular italic or bold select the size whatever size you want okay now th this is for the font for complex script i can always go for again a font selection here select whichever font you want select the font style whatever font style you want select the size whatever size you want because under underline i am opening this i need to only select this first is what should be the font color here it is black by default i'll change it to yellow okay now this portion automatically will become yellow after it becomes yellow okay now uh, we, when we come to underline assuming i have selected this line i come to underline i go to more underline i may get a requirement where somebody says let the font color be orange let the underline be green and then when i say okay it automatically changes this way i could use different kinds of underline here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 different underline options when i go to more underline i may find a little bit more okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so please write down in 
please write down in in more underline option in more underline option in more underline option you get around 18 different kinds of underlines you get 18 around 18 the different kinds of underlines okay now uh, we will go to the next option underline color this is only to select the underline color okay the next or adding underline color the, this option allows you to select this option allows you to select underline colors allows you to select underline color okay uh, when you are not happy with any of the visible colors next line when you are not happy with any of the visible colors you could use not happy with any of the visible colors you could go to more colors option option and select your own color and select your own color full stop all of you look at the monitor see i want a peculiar kind of a blue okay i can keep changing the position keep changing the density i can start getting different kinds of shades okay sometimes they give you exactly the reading of what should be the red what should be the green what should be the blue when i actually talk about colors it is rgb a combination of colors which is going to give you multiple colors this is how it has been done so red green blue red green blue it starts giving you multiple colors now th th this is one option which i have to remember so where will this come into picture if at all i wanted a an underlying color to be selected i can select among the normal shades of color which is visible here in that normal shades of color different kinds of density of colors see as and when i change the density of a color whatever is a selected uh, text the color is automatically changing i could use one of these standard colors or go to more colors select what should be your r select what should be your green select what should be your blue for some reason i want to know what should be rgb to display gold color and let me ask this question to google what should be rgb please write down what should be my r g okay uh, what should be my r g and b what should be my r g and b to get gold shining color it should be gold and shining color okay, can you ask your google my internet is down fast quick 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 now you will have an assignment to do uh, last time whatever moral story what is that that leave letter whatever you did you start practicing all these options and uh, when we do these four i'll give you one options on uh, how to create RGB? Did you ask? What did he say? What's the question? Huh? What, the, the, should be? what should be? 
आर जी बी फॉर गोल्ड कलर वन एट सिक्स विल बी रेड टू जीरो नाइन नेक्स्ट सेवेंटी वन वन एट सिक्स टू जीरो नाइन एंड सेवेंटी वन आर जी बी यू 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 चेक चेक अगेन इट शुड बी वन ऑफ दिस कलर गोल्ड कलर ओके टू फाइव फाइव टू टू थ्री टू टू थ्री सेवेंटी नाइन यस सी द गोल्ड very shining now that this one uh, once again 2 255 hmm 223 223 uh, 79 79 see i got the gold color okay that that becomes my gold color yeah. so please remember this is how you select the color what you want okay next we will go to strike through strike through bega strike through strike through this option puts a small strike on the letters put a small horizontal strike on the letters by drawing a line through it by drawing a line through it line through it see if i am selecting this okay all of you look at the monitor when i select this it becomes a strike through the entire uh, this one i'll just go for all the selection if i am whatever the selected text if i just do this a small strike happens okay next one is subscript s u b s c r i p t subscript s u b s c r i p t subscript in brackets control plus equals control plus equals okay uh, this will type very small letters this will type very small letters just below the line of text just below the line of text where do we use this is if i am writing a formula assuming i am writing a formula x1 x1 2 x2 equals 10 km but it is not x1 it is subscript x1 i'll select this and i'll make it as subscript i can increase the font size this is x1 okay this is again subscript be below the line little increase of form this is x2 now one if i am writing a formula a square plus b square sorry a square plus b square equals plus equals plus 3 ala irli x sadike equals a a plus b all square and this is what i wanted to a square sh it should be superscript i select superscript i select superscript i select superscript okay now let us write down superscript the next option is superscript the shortcut is control plus shift plus plus control plus shift plus plus 
in brackets plus shift plus plus symbol plus shift plus plus okay this option types very small letters this option types very small letters just above the line of text just above the line of text okay n next option text effects and typography text effects and the typography this option is used this option is used to add special text effects such as shadow or glow such as shadow or glow okay Th this as the following this as the following different text effects this as the following different text effects okay so uh, the, the first one you can write down black comma text color 1 and see th th there are two things here one is fill fill means what is the internal fill on the font Th that is one option second one is whether it has a shadow or not okay now if i am clicking on this and if i am se selecting it has a small kind of a shadow you can see shadow is there but actually it is a black color font okay now when i click here this is the first option which is black the fill inside is black uh, the text color is black and there is one shadow if i go to blue here it says the fill is blue and accent color one and it has shadow fill semicolon is blue comma accent color one shadow okay you leave for five six lines in the lab you can make a note of it and then write down the rest i'll just show you how the font appears all of you look at the monitor on the back you can see the font changing its size here fill red accent color outline red accent color to this fill white semicolon outline colon aqua accent color five shadow next it is purple fill purple accent color four soft bevel i'll go to one more this is gradient fill this is gradient fill reflection as though there is a reflection mirrorish reflection next is gradient fill purple accent color outline is again purple a little bit of darker okay next white outline blue accent glow accent color one this is olive green accent color sharp bevel okay this is black comma text color one outline is white a little bit of white outline is there when the background is uh, different it looks nice the same thing when i put a eyeliner and make it something else th this comes out to be beautiful okay now th this one more option aqua accent color 5 no i am not selected this i will select this and then when i come to this okay this is white outline accent color art shadow uh, next one is tan background color inner shadow all these options are there next 
th there is an outline option where you can say select here you can also select what kind of lines you want to use while creating this font thin thick very thick very thick very thick very thick very thick okay i'll go, go for this you'll understand it better i come to here outline i can select the color shadow i can select one of these options reflection i can select one of this option glow i can select one of this option number styles i can select one of this option uh, literature one of this option uh, stylistic set one of these options so it allows me to play around with multiple selections please use this selection just to have a small idea uh, some of the advanced options we will not touch the uh, rest of it we will try to complete it off okay so uh, th there is one more option which is highlighting the back we use highlighter all of you have seen an highlighter i also have an highlighter i highlight the text like this so if i want to highlight some important points i select that important point and say highlight mm -hmm. i select that important point i use what is highlighting color and i highlight this is called as highlighter next is the color of the font here whatever font i am selecting i need to select the color here not only the color i can also go for gradient i can also go for gradient okay there are multiple gradients available i can choose this gradient so please write down the next option text highlight color text highlight color leave half space half a page so so that you can write down everything about text effects and the typography okay next hmm. no it is text highlight color this option makes your text pop makes your text pop out by highlighting it in bright color this makes your text pop out by pop out andre aache baro tara it comes out highlights it by highlighting it in the in a bright color next line you write down th there are ma ma multiple colors there are multiple colors that could be used for highlighting approximately 15 colors ma multiple colors in brackets you can write down 15 colors in office 365 in word 365 Okay. Next is font color. Three sixty five. Hmm. Office three sixty five. Word three sixty five. Okay. Now font color. Please write down font color. Th this option allows you to change the color of your text. This option allows you to. change the color of your text okay always remember whenever you are seeing a group the group may have additional options when i come to the last corner and when i click on this it opens some advanced menu which may actually give the same options once again here okay here is a font option i can change the font i can change the color i can change the underline color so something like that okay in the same manner i come i go to advance and i start working on it okay scale spacing position literature number spacing number forms stylistic sets so in the next class we will try to see all these options and right now we will close this class even in clipboard option when i click here 
it opened one more option which displays what is there right now in the clipboard it gives me that idea so right now the, this text is there if I click on this text it gets pasted here again I click it gets pasted again I click it gets pasted if I want to clear all the contents in the clipboard I say clear all everything will be cleared every time I copy what does it do it goes to the clipboard I select and I say copy it goes here Le let me select an image also I say copy image also goes here and I say this is one more image I'll just say copy that image also goes there now wherever I want that I can always come here at this place I click my cursor I want this image here it will insert I want one more image also there it will insert so the clipboard at the uh, lowest right hand corner of that entire group if there is a small diagonal uh, pointed icon this will allow you to see all the items you have copied to the clipboard and here it will allow you to customize your text using advanced font and character option to give it exact look you want you can add a variety of styles and colors to your text as well as visual effects like strike through superscript making it all caps highlighting it on the back lot of such things can be done tomorrow we will look at paragraph option after we complete this advanced character spacing can i give some spacing between the character can i actually merge it can i actually enlarge it for that we make use of this options we'll see tomorrow now